somebody done told me to watch a Ben Shapiro and Thomas Sowell vid, so I'm gonna watch a Ben Shapiro vid. I'm not watching no Thomas Sowell. That was like a 40 minute interview. Who, what's going on, Big Whites? You know what I'm saying? It's my homie. I got 69 dislikes on my YouTube vid because I said he sounded like a robot when he rapped. And I was I was trolling that whole music vid too on some of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, he talking about, oh, you live with, you still live with mommy and daddy. Ain't nothing wrong with living with your parents, boy. I'm still in school. And an old, an old Mexican man said that too. I look better than you. <laughs> I look better than you, man. I ain't gonna lie. You gonna keep... God said not to wish ill will on somebody. Boy, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm not trying to go back. Tom I McDonald. I got to be positive, man. I'm positive. I'm positive this year, man. I ain't doing that no more. Bro, can Tom, I start a bit? It's been a hell of a weekend. So, G, tell me about uh, how Fax is doing. It's number one on the iTunes charts in the United States. It's trending all the way up to number two worldwide, but we're facing some entrenched opposition from members of the industry who don't like the insurgent campaign that we have been waging against. And they just, they don't know the true artistry of hip hop, I think, from people like, I mean, you actually know what you're doing, but like, from me. Hey, for people like you too, huh? You know it, huh? You know it, Ben. Me, I don't think anyone expected me to just, you know, be as amazing as I am at this, clearly. And and I've got the bling to, like, I'm, I'm ready to go. I've been hitting all the clubs, leading a new lifestyle. What clubs are you going to, Ben? What clubs are you going to? You ain't taking me with you. Hey, 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 Ben, you out here, my parents sleep, hold on, you out here fucking with the hoes, the whores, that's what you doing, Ben, that's what you doing, let me know, uh, -uh you probably is, huh, that's what you doing, we still have to overcome some obstacles, Tom, absolutely, well, it's nice to see you, uh, entrenched in the culture, the, 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 the craziest part about this is, I almost showed up dressed as you today, um, but yeah, man, uh, it's been, you know, for your first step out the door, Ben, uh, you absolutely killed it. Uh, we're, we're number one in all genres on iTunes. Number He got 10 mil. That vid got, that music vid got 10 mil. My vid got 69 dislikes. I'm doing something right. Or two mm -hmm. uh, worldwide on iTunes, which is uh, unheard of, especially for somebody making their first rap song. Um, you know, you Nicki Minaj dropped her diss song today against Megan the Stallion, so we're up against decent. some stiff competition. But uh, thus far, we've held down that top spot. I, I don't think she's going to be able to shake us, man. You confident? I ain't gonna lie, that that diss song was kind of weak, but it was decent though. I don't think so either, especially because I mean, I saw that 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 Megan the Stallion, the. Uh, that, that she actually, um, she lowered her price, that she's almost giving it away. I mean, I mean her song, in any case. But um, let's talk about, you know, all of, the, all of the various algorithms that are now being used to suppress the song, because they really do not want us to hit number one on the Billboard charts, obviously. Yeah. Well, it started, I mean, it started before the song got even released. Um, <clears throat> obviously, I distribute all my music independently through TuneCore, uh, and TuneCore actually denied the release of the song. Um, before the video release, before anybody even knew you wow. were on the song, uh, I had tried to submit and release the song through TuneCore, uh, and they turned it down, which is super frustrating because for an independent artist, TuneCore exists as the alternative to getting. I thought you. I thought if you was independent and you release music, they just release it automatically. I, well, I didn't know you could get denied. A record deal, and uh, they exist as the alternative to getting a distribution deal. Um, they're supposed to be there for independent artists who are avoiding the mainstream uh, record label system of the music industry. So um, they denied the song on account of lyrical content um, before before the song even hit the internet. So that was our first obstacle. We ended up getting the song to iTunes and Amazon and Spotify. We ended up getting it out, um, but you know it, the uh, the obstacles didn't stop there. Uh, now. If you just take a quick peruse of the trending charts on YouTube right now, mm -hmm. um, Megan D. Stallion is at number one, and our new video, Facts, is at number two. And if you just take two seconds to look at the metrics on the video, uh, we're outperforming her in every metric. We have over a million more views than her. Uh, I ain't even see Megan up there, to be honest with you. We have 50,000 more comments than she has. Uh, we're, we were outperforming her video is performing objectively worse than ours and we're actually pulling ahead right now quite quickly 
um and the further we get in the but lead good for y'all i don't like megan anyway but mind you she she's hey my parents sleep you know what i'm saying yeah she's thick i would fuck i'm not gonna lie to you you know what i'm saying but i'm gonna keep it a buck though she lied about tori i don't want her to be at the top at all i want my boy free i'm glad i'm glad ai ben and tom got up there like, yeah i'm gonna I'm try to make some ben and shapiro fans mad again you know what i'm saying and i seen another reaction somebody else thought it was an ai too you know what I'm saying? I know I wasn't tripping. Um, we're just st we're stuck at number two. They're not allowing us to pass Megan and hit that uh, number one spot. So Megan, this is at number one. You know whether that's uh, YouTube sort of um, disagreeing with with the controversial nature of our song, or you know you talk Megan about signed to Rock Nation. So. Rock Nation's part of Universal. Universal has a relationship with YouTube, and I'm sure that Universal has invested so much money uh into youtube over the years that i don't know if there's some sort of backdoor agreement where they're saying like hey we we don't care uh how that many views so these good. guys I'm get we don't lie. care how viral their I'm video look, goes I've been looking megan at this the is whole staying time. at number one um in my best estimation that's kind of what's going on so uh our video is the top performing video on youtube bar none right ten now mil. Uh, ten they're mil. not letting us trend at number one 10 mil. And by the way, all credit to you and Nova for that. Nova does an amazing job. I mean, yeah. she directed this beautifully, and the editing is. She, is bro, Nova out here doing her thing for years. she been doing this. She, she, bro, I said a while ago, and I forgot what video it was from Tom, that she needed to um, do some, do something, some type of movies, bro. She do. Incredible. I mean, again, it makes it look like I can rap. It was hurt, and somebody helped her with it. That's what it was. Which is an amazing thing. Have you ever heard of data brokers? Those are the middlemen collecting and. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you think going on, Ben? I don't know. Yeah, you got sponsored just now. Mm -mm. I know, so I know you did. These songs are so truly offensive, the stuff that you're putting out. I mean, anybody who has seen or heard the song that, that we put out, in the most offensive lines are things like, there are only two genders, boys and girls, where'd all the American flags go? That's the offensive stuff. And then if you- And the, B the BLM and the, uh, the gay flags, you say that too, so three. Just, you know, scroll over to Hiss, which is Megan the Stallion, because of course she makes her music for the, she, her, Not for me. her actual lyrics, I'm just gonna read her lyrics here because this is what I became famous in the rap community for is my reading of lyrics. This is like an actual <laughs> lyric. This is the beginning of her song, quote, I just wanna kick this bleep off by saying F y'all. I ain't gotta clear my name on an MFing thing. Every time I get mentioned, one of y'all B A N words get 24 hours of attention. So yeah, she, she that that's clearly saying there are not enough American flags is like exactly the same as whatever the hell it is that Megan the Stallion is doing clearly i mean if we're gonna if we're gonna make sure that that the kids don't see damaging material we got to stop tom mcdonald man it's 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 i'm going mainstream people get pissed in i'm our ready song, for it i'm I ready for it put it on radio pre-chorus put it in a commercial i want this i want i want a whole lot of tom mcdonald songs just to go viral i want to see people mad i, I do uh um we talked about not promoting guns. We talked about not promoting drugs. We talked about uh, not turning people's oh, yeah. sons into. Th I forgot. Tom don't even promote cussing his own music. You know what I'm saying? What's it called? He censored out. And their daughters into hoes. And, uh, you know, we sort of spoke they out against like, what the status quo in hip hop is. Um, Cardi and, and for some reason, uh, you know, <clears throat> we're, we're, we're treated, we're, we're living too. in some sort of upside down backwards, uh, freak show. Uh, and it's, it just seems like the most destructive material. Uh, and you know, hip hop is full of a lot of destructive material. The, the promotion of, of violence, the romanticizing of, oh, boy. of, of, of mental health and prescription drugs uh, um recreationally um it seems like those things uh tend to get the most um mainstream attention and anything that speaks out against that uh you know especially in our case um is has been suppressed so um yeah it's like it's almost as if they want to sort of indoctrinate the you know the the, the demographic for for hip-hop is like like uh 19 to 35 year old uh white american youth like that's the primary demographic 1935 um, it, al it almost seems like there is a, a a conscious effort to sort of destroy and dismantle and dilute that generation 
and anything else uh like i would i would argue to say that our song is actually the, the total opposite of that it's it's empowering people uh it's 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 hopefully encouraging people to stand up and speak their mind and not be afraid to tom i, st I stood up look not i've i've been standing up you know what i'm saying what's that man name jenner the man yeah two two years ago that little reaction off my phone i deleted that i went crazy look that little nod little nod drop of it i went crazy i said a whole bunch of slurs <laughs> yeah yeah i got busy in that vid i ain't gonna lie to you i let it fly i let it go the whole time you know what i'm saying boy i went Damn crazy unpopular. i'm gonna say what i gotta say but i took it down because this channel is monetized i can't I, boy you know what i'm saying i can't be on i can't be on here wilding like that boy your opinion or be quote unquote offensive um it seems like those things uh, are sort of tried they try to hide them and they don't and, and, and they and they sort of shove this other destructive material into those kids faces and you know i was one of those kids at, at one point in time when i when i started making music that's the music i was listening to and that led me to uh years and years and years of alcoholism and poor mental health and all types of things so you i know firsthand it. how destructive that content can be and uh we've made a conscious effort uh to to sort of combat that in our music and and we're the ones that are being suppressed on the on the youtube charts and and refusing to release our music through tunecore it's it really is like some sort of upside down backwards freak show well you know it, it is it is crazy uh, not quite as crazy as the fact that again you and i have the number one charting look at being tune look at him look on at planet him. earth look right now or at least in the united states let your nut, hey bro let your nuts hang man it's come on on, on itunes but if people want to get us to that billboard number one that we openly call for in the song what's the best he's proud about his songs he should be so that's the thing we have uh you know it's monday now we have until thursday morning so we got monday tuesday wednesday we have three days for everybody out there. If you're watching, it's Thursday morning right now. What great sucks. This right now, and there's thousands and thousands and thousands of you. If even half of you guys decided to go over to iTunes or go over to Amazon and download Ben and I's new song, it's called Facts. If you search Facts by Tom McDonald or Facts Ben Shapiro, it'll come up right away. You can't just search Facts on iTunes or Amazon because uh, the, the search bar has been suppressed. You have to put in Facts Tom McDonald Ben Shapiro. The whole then it thing. will populate. Uh, so download Facts on iTunes or Amazon, and if we I'm can accumulate enough downloads online. in the Thank next three days, uh, we will end up at number one on the Billboard charts. And uh, like I've said, um, not only Ben did an incredible job uh, with his first rap song ever. Um, ben might be the only person on the internet that is publicly more despised than I am. So uh, not only would a Cap. number one on Billboard... Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. Is you, Dave Chappelle, Cat Williams, Eddie Griffin. Eddie Griffin say what he like to say too. That's it. I can't think of... There's nobody else. There's no more rappers. Boosie, Boosie, because Boosie, he went against D Wade and them. Mm -hmm. Or it'd be incredible. People still like Boosie too. And really fun for me. Uh, but it would be an Gaysen. absolute slap in the face to the music industry. Uh, this is the last thing that they want. They don't want this song at number one. And they certainly don't want Ben, who has publicly criticized the genre many times. The song they can't go number ben one. At the top they of the let it, charge, And we have the opportunity to do that together. So head to iTunes, head to Amazon. Wait, that's down. the end of it. Know what I'm Bro, that song ain't finna go number one. Y'all talk about the uh, the LGBTQ flag garbage mess. Y yeah, you talked about it. Think, bro, as soon as you mention that, mm -mm. as soon as you talk against them, boy, your song ain't, your song ain't finna. It's going it might do some numbers, but it ain't finna chart. I mean, like be on the radio. Mm -mm. They ain't gonna do that. Nobody will. You speak against them, your career done. To be honest with you, go ahead, like, comment, sub up, dislike the vid too. Y'all do it anyway. Let me go. Let me get 35,000, 50,000 dislikes, man. I'm streaming too. Tune into the Twitch too. Yeah, come on now.